college to university in each and every environmental studies courses uh, know about this particular topic we must read about this particular topic but uh, did we only stop ourselves only by knowing about it or reading about it or we can do something to minimize it awareness yes awareness is the key thing which we can do to minimize this kind of man made hazards today department of geology morigaon college associated with department of geology guwahati university and geological society of assam we all organizers feel very proud because we are able to bring this bring this particular topic to this online platform so that we can connect to many and be a part of spreading awareness for this i must thank our invited speaker dr bidud bikas goswami sir because he gave us opportunity to bring uh, bring this particular topic to this online platform thank you very much sir today with us dr jogen chandra kolita sir department of geology uh, hod department of geology guwahati university he is general secretary of geological society of assam and he is also president governing body morigaon college welcome sir today with us a dr priyabrata lokhor sir president geological society of assam and dr mm. dr lilakanta borthakur sir he is principal morigaon college welcome sir so uh, before starting uh, we department of geology morigaon college always opens our every gathering meeting or seminars with a holy spirit today also uh, we are going to open the seminar webinar with a holy sloka for this i am requesting uh, our doctor our own doctor dhananjay kusre sir associate professor department of geology morigaon college to kindly open this webinar uh, with a sloka over to you sir over to you kusre thank you sir. thank you is it audible yes sir yes 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 deepam jyoti param jyoti deepam jyoti janardana deepam haratu me papam deepam jyoti namastute शुभम करोति कल्याण आरोग्यम सुख संपदा द्वेष बुद्धि विनाशा सा दीपम नमस्तुते सायं दीपम नमस्तुते सायं दीपम नमस्तुते ओम शांति 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 thank you thank you very much sir thank you so much uh, now i am going to our next agenda <coughs> that is inauguration of our webinar <coughs> to <coughs> to inaugurate our webinar i am requesting our principal sir dr lilakanto borthakur sir to kindly inaugurate our webinar over to you sir thank you bhagoshri a very good afternoon to all of you I respected the Morigaon College Governing Body President, Professor in charge of International Relations of His Guwahati University, Head of the Department Zoology Zoology Guwahati University, and the President of Assam Zoological Society, Professor Jugen Sundar Kolita. honorable key speaker speaker of the today's webinar dr bidud vikas goswami research professor irreversible climate change research center yonsi university seoul south africa respected guest of honor professor priyabrat rohkar president geological society of assam respected faculty members of the department of zoology guwahati university respected the vice principal of morigaon college coordinator iqac head of the department of zoology morigaon college dr komal sandh bhuya coordinator bhagyashri mohanto and the other faculty members of the department my colleague technical associate bulbul das and the esteemed 
participants thank you to everyone who joined this webinar i am extremely delighted to be the host of, for the webinar and the inaugurate this webinar i am on behalf of uh, the institution offer my regards to all distinguished guests and the people joining us across the globe i convey my regards uh, to the key speaker dr vidyut vikas goswami thank you sir for uh, accepting our uh, web invitation by giving your precious time and the coming of our for the webinar before inaugurate uh, inaugurate the webinar i shall take this opportunity to give a, a brief introduction of morigaon college 57 years ago from today in the year 1964 a group of foresighted and socially committed uh, workers established this college with art stream now the college is offering arts uh, science commerce computer application program in undergraduate level with 21 departments it is also offering phd program pg program pg diploma program vocational program and some add-on courses we have a big playground with a four acres of land a big library with more than 40000 books a big auditorium where uh, more than 1000 students can be seated uh, at a time we have a canteen boys common room girls common room and uh, many more the college organizes workshop seminar webinar consistently for uh, research scholar students to gain information and uh, to be effectively associated with uh, academic exercises as a part of the institutional agenda the department of zoology morigaon college in association with uh, the department of uh, zoology guwahati university has organized this webinar on climate change lessons and the uh, actions which is one of the top most uh, vital uh, global issues i offer my sincere thanks to the faculty members of the department of zoology of guwahati university and the uh, morigaon college i am i am sure the webinar will be profitable and uh, the next uh, few hours will be enjoyable and uh, fruitful for every one of us i hope this webinar will provide us not only essential knowledge but also a great opportunity to share experiences both technical and the regulatory issues i would like to thanks our president governing body for his uh, continuous effort for encouraging us once again i express my deep gratitude to all the speakers professor p lohkar Dr. Vidyut Vikas Goswami sir, sir, you are all with us, even though you are uh, so busy with your responsibilities in your institution. We truly appreciate your dedication. Finally, this is an opportune time for me to declare the formal opening of the webinar on climate change lessons and actions and i wish uh, this will be an uh, interesting and uh, beneficial program i warmly wel welcome you again thank you so much sir thank you thank you very much sir now i am going to our next agenda that is a brief introduction of our invited speaker So uh, he is none other than Dr. Vidyut Vikas Goswami. So Dr. Goswami is born and brought up in Tejpur, and uh, he got his B.Sc. degree from Durham College in Physics, and got his M.Sc. degree from Guwahati University in 2005. After that, he enrolled as a Ph.D. student in Pune University, and got his Ph.D. in 2014 in the field of Atmospheric Space Science. He worked as a postdoctoral fellow in University of Victoria, Canada, and he also worked as a postdoctoral associate in New York, New York University, Abu Dhabi, UAE. 
Now he is working as a research professor in Irreversible Climate Change Research Center, Yonsei University, uh, Seoul, South Korea. So we are very fortunate to having such a young and energetic person, professors with us. And without wasting any time, I am requesting him to kindly take over and open the technical session. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you all. Uh, thank you for such a nice and warm welcome. I think I'm audible, right? Perfectly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, sir. So yeah, to formally begin a uh, respected uh, Principal Morigan College, President of JSA, President of Governing Body Morigan College, and uh, all other esteemed personalities uh, present today. So, more uh, my informal corridor. I hope kunu be anapogo. I think most of our audience is from Assam, so I hope nobody will mind me speaking in Assamese a little bit. Jetia uh, technical kotha. Uh, I will switch back to English. Kisuman technical term of Homiat Kobulo Hirobo, Dictari Hobo. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it's very uh, it's very honoring for me, and I'm delighted to be present in this forum. And uh, this is remarkable. I can see 202 participants. So, this is really encouraging for. Uh, all of us that uh, people are actually paying sincere attention to the issue of climate change and people are willing to do uh, take individual actions and uh, I hope that's the whole reason of people being here uh, then uh, so should I start uh, presenting I'll have to share my screen I think uh, or do we have anything in between my presentation and so uh, I will be so I'll be sharing my screen now I say. Yes, it is coming. Okay. So, what I will do is. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. You, you are, are audible. Yes. Yes, you are audible. That's also coming. I think it is coming corner to the yes, Nick screen connect. That's a corner to his. Metia middle of ice. Middle of ice. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll straight away begin. So this is a picture actually. Uh, this is a picture of the North Pole. So North Pole, we all know, is like very cold and it is all ice covered. But in this picture, we see North Pole actually is, uh, we, we see a lot of water in North Pole. So this is actually a picture named North Pole under 
water and which was uh, judged as the best science photograph photograph of the year for 2020 by uh, Sue Flood. So this picture uh, tries to convey the message that the ice in the North Pole Pole, actually, which uh, which should be all ice, we see water in the North Pole. And this is an indication of the changing climate and the warming atmosphere of our Earth. And uh, yeah, so this is the title of my talk. Climate change, lessons and actions. So uh, I will, in my presentation, I will show some pictures which will show the different dimensions of climate change, how we see climate change, what we experience in the changing climate and what we can learn from it and how we actually uh, can navigate around that and progress. So this is, I hope uh, all of you uh, might have known about the last the big fire which happened in Australia, they call that summer, 2019 and 2020 summer. Uh, that's like December, January, February. Uh, that uh, because Australia is in the Southern Hemisphere, so summer in Australia is winter for us. So I can photo uh, the fire uh, which happened in Australia. It's, it's, it's the biggest in the history of Australia. And this is a picture from Mumbai, 2005, 26 July. So Mumbai uh, uh, had rainfall in one single day, which it typically has in the whole season. And uh, next, okay, this, this picture is becoming increasingly more common nowadays. It can be uh, anywhere. If you go to Nagaland today, then you would find sceneries like this. This, this, by the way, is a picture of Ladakh taken in 2014, I guess. So if you go to Andhra Pradesh, you might have heard a lot of farmers committing suicide. So this, uh, that's why I have kept this picture uh, without a title because this can be anywhere, as I said. Uh, this is a picture from Dallas. Texas, 2021, February. And uh, you can see like icicles hanging down from the fan. This is this is uh, Texas where normally the temperature in February is like 15, 16 degrees Celsius. But on I think 16 February, 2021, people experienced temperatures uh, as low as minus 19 degrees Celsius. Next, we will go to west coast of Canada. This is June last month, 2021, Victoria. So this is where actually, uh, when uh, Professor Bhagyashree was telling, I did my postdoc in Victoria, University of Victoria, Canada. So this is a photo from there. So in June, the typical temperature in Victoria is again like 17, 18 degrees Celsius. But uh, in 2021, uh, I forgot the date, but uh, people actually experienced temperatures as high as about 40 degrees Celsius, so which is very uncommon. So what actually climate change is, like we have seen forest fire, huge, huge forest fire. We have seen flood in Mumbai, we have seen drought pictures, we have seen very cold temperatures in Texas. Now this is very warm we have seen in Victoria. So it's when, when, when the climate is changing, we are experiencing all different kinds of activities in different parts of the globe. And it's a global, uh, it has global implications in different places, in different forms. So this picture, I don't know if it is coming properly in your screen, uh, but all these red marks, these are places where uh, there were like heat waves, extremely heat, um, extreme hot climate was experienced. And 
these are like these green this is a this was extreme rainfall and all these purple colored uh, circles they uh, indicate like cyclones and hurricanes we have actually seen back to back hurricanes in bay of bengal and arabian sea last year so this uh, what this uh, what i want to uh, say by showing this picture is in our changing climate we are experiencing extreme conditions not necessarily the same condition it can be heat wave somewhere it can be cold extreme cold somewhere very strong hurricanes or cyclones somewhere extreme rainfall somewhere at the same time there will be drought in some places so this is how what the uh, different impacts over the different parts of globe looks like in our changing climate and uh, so all these events uh, there has been studies of uh, people call it attribution studies extreme event attribution studies so what uh, this curve shows is along x axis is how well do we understand all the different events and along the y axis we can say uh, how much of an event we can attribute to changing climate for example this this is the extreme cold events we understand them pretty well and we can attribute them fairly uh, robustly to in uh, changing climate same is the case with extreme heat and as we come down this axis then our understanding of that event actually uh, goes down and that's why we can attribute that to changing climate relatively less compared to events here and uh, we don't expect any event in this place because this would mean that we do not understand understanding is low and we are attributing it highly to changing climate which cannot be the case so we do not expect anything here so roughly this is what this picture suggests and all these different kind of extreme events what we uh, see in uh, in the changing climate the inability to see this different events together actually gives rise to climate myths so here is a, a list of different climate myths which people or uh, what we call climate skeptics people who do not support the fact that climate is changing they uh, come up with these kind of explanations which are actually fake or myths like climate has changed before or it's warming just because of the sun it's not very bad and there is no consensus uh, meaning that the different climate models there are some uh, differences between their projections so they exploit that uh, limitation of the climate models to say that there is no consensus and some people would see the cooling in texas and they say the climate is not warming because we recently had a cold wave in texas and temperature records are unreliable and they say animals and plants can adapt and there has been a recent observation that temperature uh, has slightly dipped and they exploit that fact to say that it has not warmed since 1998 so, and blah blah and so yeah so all sorts of climate myths appear because people are unable to see different extreme events uh, together and they pick one event and comment without knowing the actual facts so what actually we mean when we say that climate has not changed like this before so for that i would like to show this is okay this is the only graph i have tried to kept my presentation simple and casual keeping in mind the diverse audience we are having today so uh, let me tell you uh, 
what this graph actually shows. So there is a group of scientists, there's a huge list here. So they actually uh, reconstructed the temperature data for uh, our surface. So it's remarkable how our nature preserves the climate it uh, experiences over the time. So they basically, uh, what they did is they uh, dig up temperature records from the ocean floor and uh, they constructed temperature records for last 66 million years. So what they call uh, that temperature record, what uh, they call is Cenozoic Global Reference Benthic Foraminifer Carbon and Oxygen, Oxygen Isotope Dataset. And we won't go to that detail. For uh, simplicity, we will call it, we'll see it as global mean surface temperature relative to present day climate. So what we mean by present day climate is they uh, computed that surface temperature of Earth over the whole globe averaged it uh, for the duration 1961 to 1990 and uh, computed how far uh, the temperature of different times deviate from the mean temperature of this this period 1961 to 1990 so as you can see the temperature before like 50 million years ago the temperature was here which was like about uh, 12 cent, uh, celsius 12 degrees celsius above what we uh, uh, relative to the mean temperature of present day and so the temperature then slowly started cooling down and again down then they call it a cool house and it came down and then slowly it rose and then it stabilized so this is where we are 20 20 this is 2000 it's showing but we were somewhere there and the humans started appearing here before about like five million years ago. So you can see it has taken like millions of years to come to this, this phase. And now this is where 1850, this is the time where the industrialization began. And after that, we have emitted so much of greenhouse gases, I, I would just stop. Uh, about uh, about what is greenhouse gases in a minute. So we have managed to emit so much greenhouse gas that we have managed to push this temperature back to, you can see these curves back. These are the projections where we will be in 2300 after like 170 years. So in 2050, we will be here. So if we, and these are projections, if you see this RCPs, RCP, RCP is called a representation and a concentration pathways. In simple language, it shows, uh, it's an estimate of how the uh, world will evol evolve in terms of population and uh, industrialization and progress. And in doing so, how much of greenhouse gases we will emit and because of which how much temperature will increase. And now you see if I, uh, oops, I think my screen has gone or? Sajid has presented his screen. Kindly stop this. Who is Sajid? Okay. Abhagoshi, somebody presented in between. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am and telling him. I remove him immediately. Please remove him immediately. Okay. Video it could be hard also. So, am I uh, visible? Visible now? Light is not me. Uh, Bidu, can you please change your pointer color? Oops. 
it's not changing. Is this better? Are your slides are not coming? Oh, okay, so. You will have to present again, I think. Because somebody presented in between. Okay. Uh, now it is yes. coming. It is coming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they are coming good. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't know, due to some reason, I'm not being able to change the pointer color. Uh, okay. Okay, so I was telling like, uh, yeah, RCPs. So RCPs, as, uh, as I was telling, this basically uh, indicates how uh, the pathway uh, following which we will, we are planning to do industrialization or the population growth so everything is taken care of and scientists have um, estimated how much greenhouse gas we are going to emit in that process and this rcp 2.6 is a moderate scenario and eight uh, where we consider that we are going to take care of the climate uh, while uh, while making our progress and 8.5 suggests that we will be doing vigorous progress and we will be ca caring about climate less. So following RCP 8.5 scenario, we will end up here in 2300 and following 2.6, which is the most modest scenario, even then uh, we'll end up somewhere there. And if I now draw back from here, this point, this green dotted line, so we will end up somewhere here. So, which is like uh, somewhere in 10 to 12 degrees warmer than the present climate. And following 2.6, we will end up somewhere here, which is like about, five degrees centigrade warmer than the current climate. And that's what we refer to as change, which is which we have not seen before, because to give you a perspective, we all know uh, how Himalaya came into existence because of the Indian plate crashing into the Eurasian plate. And in uh, 71 million years ago, Indian plate was here. 55 million years ago, Indian plate was here. So if we, when the temperature was five degree warmer naturally, 35 million years ago or 30 to 35 million years ago, India was actually not where we see it today. India was somewhere here. So a five degree warmer climate or three degree warmer climate will will not see the geography we are seeing today. It will happen in a totally, totally different time. If you can see close, uh, pay close attention to these, what this means is these, these are polar ice sheets. So polar ice sheets actually came into existence. Uh, the Northern Hemisphere ice sheet came into existence about like 14 million years ago. And Southern Hemisphere ice sheet uh, came into existence like, about like uh, it started from here and then there was a big jump here so what i mean is that time there was no polar ice sheets or uh, during this time there was only one polar ice sheets which was in the southern hemisphere so now if we are going to warm the earth by such a huge amount then we don't know how the ice sheets are going to respond there's they have started melting and scientists uh, have projected that the ice sheets are going to melt away totally and that melting will release enormous amount of water in the ocean the ocean acidity will be affected 
ocean sea level will be affected a lot of coastal playing uh, areas will go under the water because of the acidity, a lot of marine lives will be affected. So people have actually, after realizing that, a lot of uh, leaders, I mean, leaders of, uh, okay, so we will go to that a little later. That's the next slide. So uh, this this rising temperature, it's not, uh, it has now become pretty clear that this is related to greenhouse gases, which I had mentioned a little while back. So greenhouse gases, we know carbon dioxide, one greenhouse gases is water vapor, and there are several other greenhouse gases. What greenhouse gas does is it acts like a blanket for the Earth's atmosphere. If there were no greenhouse gases, Earth uh, would emit radiation, which will get lost in the space. So it's the greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, which traps the heat inside the uh, Earth's atmosphere and makes the Earth habitable for us. So now what we are doing is we are increasing carbon dioxide. So we are basically thickening the blanket in a sense. So it is trapping more and more heat. So you can see, you can see the temp, uh, this black one is temperature and the red one is carbon dioxide. So as the carbon dioxide, we are putting more and more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, in the whole Earth system, the at, at, uh, temperature of the atmosphere is going up. And you can see there is 410 ppm and we have almost reached 1.1 uh, degree warmer than the present climate. And if you, if you like, you can Google for what is today's carbon dioxide reading in PPM in Google, or you can go to a nice website called co2.earth, and you can see the current carbon dioxide PPM for today. So if you, if you can, if you have two devices, then you can use one of your device and, and check the carbon dioxide amount in atmosphere today. You can, you can type it in the chat box if you like. Uh, it will show you something around 410 something, 415 something maybe. So yeah, so we are we are we are uh, we have already reached up to like plus one degree above the norm uh, present day climate, and realizing that the global leaders leaders from different countries they got together in 2015, uh, what we know as Paris Agreement, they agreed that all the nation, nations will uh, adapt strategies, uh, keeping in mind the climate. They will not uh, take, they will not go for uh, um, industrializations or different actions which can harm the climate. So they will, they will uh, try to come up with different strategies so that the, we do not cross 1.5 degrees centigrade above the present day climate. So th this this is what we call uh, know, uh, what we know as Paris Agreement. So you can see Barack Obama here in 2016. Actually, the Trump administration withdrew his uh, their support for, uh, from the Paris Agreement. But I hope uh, with the new administration in place, uh, things will get better. So, me, uh, yeah, yeah, this is what uh, India's part is. India is committed to the Paris Agreement to reduce greenhouse gas emission, increase green energy, and boost forest cover. So we will. Uh, so India is committed to come up with more uh, environment-friendly energy uh, sources and uh, come up with modern technologies which will help the industries reduce their greenhouse gas cap emission and india is committed to protect forest cover as well and uh, there is something called kishan kishan urja suraksha evam uthan mahavyan kusum scheme under which uh, um, india is uh, basically merging uh, 
solar energy powers with the uh, uh, with the farmlands, and the, uh, India is using more uh, modern technologies in the farm fields, different irrigations, national hydrogen mission where hydrogen fuels will be used. One of the caveats is it's very costly. Hydrogen, uh, when you use, but when you, a good thing is when you use hydrogen fuel, the emission is only water vapor. There won't be any carbon emissions. PS6 is the latest Bharat stage six emission standards for cars. If you buy a car today, essentially it will be of BS six standards and blending of ethanol with petrol. So what blending of ethanol does is uh, it makes the fuel more efficient. The engine runs more efficiently, but then again, all these things are not very straightforward. For example, blending of ethanol, ethanol is actually uh, is supplied by sugarcane industry. 50% of ethanol comes from the sugarcane industry, I think. And uh, again, when you go to sugarcane industry, there will be different pros and cons of uh, uh, um, increasing or developing that industry. So uh, things will have to be kept in mind when we adopt mm -hmm. these, uh, these different strategies. So we are hoping the whole world is hoping that following the, so this is india's uh, part of india's uh, uh, strategies there will be others as well there are diff uh, but uh, for different countries other countries are having their own uh, techniques uh, um, south korea actually is one of the pioneers or one of the lead runners for implementing hydrogen fuel in their cars. They're planning in 2030, I think 40% of the petrol pumps, uh, I mean, fuel stations will be hydrogen fuel oriented. So, yeah, meanwhile, uh, life will respond. What it means is all the strategies, what we just saw in my last slide, they will help reducing carbon or even there are uh, projects which say uh, which will try to sequester or decrease or, uh, carbon from the atmosphere but it will not happen in one day it will take time and the uh, warming of the climate is basically a response to the greenhouse gases it's not just a quick result so the climate responds slowly so even if we start doing everything right uh, in order to reduce our emissions and achieve a level where the emission is net zero. The world will still continue, the atmosphere of Earth will still continue to respond. And in that, biology will respond because life on Earth, they, they, they have evolved based on the different uh, climate scenarios they have been experiencing over thousands of thousands of years. So when uh, suddenly we have uh, increased the amount of greenhouse gases or warming of the climate, life in different forms, they basically uh, will find a way, as people say, physics make the rules and biology tries to break it and find its way ahead. So this is an interesting picture over uh, due to the warming climate, actually size of several fish species are decreasing. You can see there is like this tiger shark. It says like it may uh, decrease its size by 21%. This is cod fish, Atlantic cod, it will decrease its size by 70% and several other fishes. This is this is salmon, one of the popular fishes people consume. This will decrease its size by 25%. So this is one way how biology will respond. And uh, uh, this is another way how biology will respond. The fish, fish will migrate away. So when the earth will warm, ocean basically covers, as we all know, ocean covers basically three fourths of the earth's surface and it 
is a huge, it's the main heat reservoir of the earth, for that uh, whole earth system, ocean atmosphere earth system. And uh, when the ocean warms, these, these oceans will warm this part of the, the uh, basically along the tropical belt, the ocean will warm. So the fish, what we'll see is it doesn't want to live in such a warm ocean and it will try to go to a cooler ocean, which is essentially over these regions. As we go poleward, the ocean will get cooler. Uh, we, we will find the ocean is cooler. So fish will try to find a better house for itself, better home for itself, better place to live. And in order to do that, it will look for cooler waters and the fish will migrate. And you can see these red patches uh, the, from those red zones, the fish will migrate. One study says the fish will migrate six kilometers per year. So, in a couple of decades, the fishes, uh, the um, fishermen will find it hard to fish in the Indian Ocean. Uh, it's a different issue that the whole biomass distribution will get perturbed because of the migration of the fish. Whole food chain will get perturbed. So this is one way how biology will, uh, will try to respond to the changing climate or warming of the oceans. And it is actually not all, always how much, but it is also about how fast. If you recall this image, I was telling this takes long time to come to this uh, this phase and this is too fast. So some of the uh, some of the representatives of the animal planet, for example, uh, one popular uh, story of being affected by climate change is a monkey-like element. Uh, animal uh, is called orangutan, which is which is found in Borneo, islands of Borneo. And it actually takes uh, quite a long time to teach its kids. So by the time it teaches its kids, the climate will change. So there will be, uh, the, the animal will go clueless how to adapt to the changing climate. So some of the animals, even though will try to find its way out of the changing climate, but they will not be able to because of the rate at which the uh, climate is changing. So uh, the bottom line message is either you adapt, not necessarily that we will be able to adapt, then we will have to get extinct or die. Again, this is a picture by Sue Flood, which is on thin ice. So this is a polar bear and it's, it's, it's an animal which normally stays on uh, snow or ice, but because of the warming, the whole ice is, has gone. It's now water everywhere. So it has no place to go. So it's, it is just staying in a thin, uh, thin block of ice. So as the as suggested by the title of the, the figure on thin ice, and it was again one of the top photos of uh, 2020 best photographs in climate change section. So for us, uh, we will I will be presenting uh, slides in between with I think tag. So I just want to uh, uh, emphasize that how the animal planet of Assam will respond to the changing climate and what will be its impact on biodiversity and hence on us. We, we all know Assam is very rich in its biodiversity. It has its flora and fauna is globally known. It's famous, but uh, Assam is one of the most vulnerable places uh, as per the projections of climate change. How the animal planet of Assam will respond, for example, Muga silkworms, the suitable temperature range for it is 15 to 33 degrees Celsius, beyond which 
the Moga cells uh, cannot sustain. In a typical uh, season, due to natural causes, uh, Moga silk, Moga worms, silkworms, they die like 15 to 20 percent. But in a very warm, uh, warm season, 80 percent of the silkworms cannot survive the heat. So that is a big loss for the diversity as well as for uh, it, it it causes big loss for the people who are in this business and the projection is there will be four, uh, there is four um, this is not actually projection this is past record that in the recent past almost half a degree per decade temperature has increased over the Northeast Indian region as per the climate change assessment report of Minister of Earth Sciences, which has recently came out. So uh, next is, yeah, when we say uh, some, uh, like essentially tea comes to our mind. And this how the uh, tea garden looks like in a warming condition. So uh, as I had shown in the very beginning of my presentation that there will be like extreme precipitations will occur. There will be different, uh, the whole precipitation, uh, normal precipitation pattern may get changed. Temperatures will increase and there will be shift in seasons with the changing climate. Like nowadays, we don't use fan during Bohag Bihu. Uh, sorry, we use, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it used to be cold and uh, now we are turning on our fans in the month of April or all. So due to different temperatures, change in temperatures, the insects and pests, uh, some of them will thrive, which will affect the tea roots and plus bad air quality. So all, all these will affect the tea growth. So yeah, this is one example how the how life will respond to climate changing climate uh, as far as Assam is concerned. There, we can find uh, many different examples. It is not limited to just Moga silkworms or tea. It, there will be, uh, there are lots and lots of different examples how, how life will respond to changing climate. And uh, it's not just animals, humans will respond too. And how? So this this blue blue thing is your healthy life. So there is a there is something called disability adjusted life years. So this is basically your whole life, and you are you have an expected lifespan, but due to climate related health disease, there may be death before expected. And this is your, your old age may come a little earlier and you may spend more time due, due to climate related disease. And what this indicates is loss of productivity. So we do not have a direct uh, measurement of or direct estimate, estimate of disability adjusted life years for India, but uh, uh, a rough idea is by 2050, it may cost like 0.81% uh, of the GDP. So, yeah, so what do we do? Now I will, uh, I have already shown you different aspects of uh, climate change, what we see in, uh, in terms of extreme events, in, term, in terms of response of life, in terms of uh, climate related disease for humans so the big question is a question is what do we do we need to uh, there is something called adaptation and something called mitigations which is basically to adapt with the changing climate and try to reduce the emissions but and uh, i have tried to summarize the actions which we can take it has to be clever careful, intelligent, innovative, and above all, the actions will have to be feasible for all of us. We cannot suggest something which is not feasible for a person in a particular geographical location. For a person in Assam who is basically living below the poverty line, 
we cannot suggest him some uh, uh, some adaptation strategy which may cost him a lot of money. It, it would be a wastage of effort. And uh, one more thing I would like to emphasize is uh, transparency of knowledge. We need to have reliable and complete and transparent knowledge. What do we do? how to do for example if you buy a car i have seen a lot of a uh, uh, lot of queries in google when i when i googled for uh, car emission standards i found people are asking do i need a pollution certificate if i have a bs6 car or do i need to have a pollution certificate if i have a bs5 car so how to do if a tree breaks the uh, uh, tree gets uprooted in my campus how to uh, how what do i do it what are the uh, government instructions? So, uh, so one important thing is uh, transparency of uh, knowledge and instructions. So I will just try to show a few uh, uh, examples of sorry, yeah. So I will try to show a few examples of what do I mean by all these terms? So yeah, this is, uh, I don't know if it is visible. This is what is written is engineer J.N. Katonier. So he's an engineer from Guwahati. He designed a floating house. So there is, there is some provision of like containers here. And this house is anchored to these poles. There, there are four poles on the four corners of the house. The house stays on the ground, but when the, when the water comes, then the house goes up. And because of these anchors, the water cannot flow it away. So this is one innovative approach which can be adapted. There will be a lot of uh, engineering aspects which I do not know, honestly, but uh, with proper care, I think uh, these kind of designs can be developed further and uh, can actually be implemented. And uh, clever is, this is one clever approach, rainwater harvesting. So it is a simple approach we all know, but uh, unfortunately, in a country like India, where it rains so much, we still do not have uh, proper uh, or enough rainwater harvesting uh, implemented in place. So it's simply, the concept is clear. I think the uh, uh, this image itself is self-explanatory that Rain falls on your roof and then it gets collected in a tank and then you use the water back. If needed, you filter it and then it is good enough to be used for your daily chores. So yeah, here is again, I think, slide. So as I was telling, Assam we know is a rainy place. One of the rainiest places is, uh, place is in Meghalaya, most rainy, uh, wettest place, Cherapunji and Mosinram, we know. And somebody can go and calculate the total roof area in Assam. And uh, then one can calculate how much of deficit can be actually compensated by saving water using rainwater harvesting. So this is basically, yeah, it's, it's amazing that so much of water falls on our head and it gets wasted because we do not have adequate uh, rainwater harvesting techniques implemented in our houses. So, yeah, so it's, it's uh, not basically, um, what I had shown in my pre, uh, initial slide is 
different responses in terms of weather patterns. So climate change, as in the beginning itself, Professor Bhagyashri was telling that it affects everybody and it, it, uh, it comes in different forms and it affects all, all aspects of life. So we, we need to see it as a change in our lifestyle, not just it's not that there will be changes in the weather we experience and our lifestyle stays the same. We need to adapt. Uh, um, uh, we need to adapt in order to adapt to the changing climate. It, it will be a new kind of lifestyle, not the ones our forefathers used to live. What I mean by that is reduce, recycle, and reuse. So this is uh, this is where I feel it is feasible for all of us. So we need to be careful what we use. We need no, uh, definitely we shouldn't use more than what we need. And whatever we use, we can reuse it. For example, these kind of buckets, we need to reuse it and recycle. So uh, after staying in different places like uh, for example i've stayed in victoria in canada and abu dhabi in middle east and now in korea so in these three places what i have experienced is there are very clear and strict instructions about how to reuse and recycle especially especially recycle so what uh, in victoria what i used to do is when I will use something, the the waste, or for example, like carry plastic bags or or thermocol uh, trays or tin tin cans, you just you just don't simply put it in the recycle bin. You basically separate plastic bag and tin cans and thermocol foils or trays you basically separate and then you throw them separately but unfortunately in india or in assam this kind of practice is very rare and uh, even the, uh, there are no clear instructions where it goes where basically even if you want to recycle there are no clear instructions there are no clear uh, flow to follow and uh, I think this is where uh, this is where uh, agencies and institutions like Morigao College or the Geological Society of uh, Assam GSA can take lead for example uh, I would like to uh, mention that when uh, Morigao College principal sir was giving the introduction he said many good things about Morigao College what I want is next time when he introduces Morigan College, it will be great for him to say that, okay, Morigan College has pioneered the waste management system in Morigan. They have given uh, Morigan College's leading by example by keeping tra trash cans in the campus. Nobody in the Morigan College throws a plastic bag on the road. Nobody, uh, everybody in Morigan College is aware that this is plastic. We need to put it in the bag, uh, in this can. This is paper. We need to put it in the paper trash. This is tin can. So this is, I think, very feasible. You just need to be aware and you can do it. And uh, yeah, as I said, like, Guwahati University, Morigan College, or all other institutes and all the participants representing different institutions today, I think they can go back and think and uh, NGOs and they, they can uh, they can come up with a very simple solution. You just need to be proactive uh, and uh, you can implement this straight away from tomorrow. You just need three different can, uh, uh, trash bins and you can use the, uh, implement this. Yeah, by careful, uh, Assam has seven national parks. It was five. I took this picture from 
Honorable uh, Chief Minister's Twitter account, Raimona. Uh, it's good to know that uh, recently it has been declared as the, uh, uh, the latest national park. And so, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, ecotourism can be uh, one of the uh, great industries to develop, to protect climate, to give people a flavor of nature. They can go to nature. But yeah, why I have put this slide under careful is you need to be careful so that people do not uh, uh, do not harm the nature by going into the nature. There has to be some limitations and uh, then people can enjoy wildlife at the same time they can uh, make themselves aware of the richness and uh, aware of the fact that uh, aware of the different um, aspects of animal life and it can be a great inspiration for people to uh, think and care about the climate and the wildlife around us. And uh, yeah, this is again one innovative. This slide may seem a little irrelevant at the beginning. Uh, this is, for those of you who haven't visited or who doesn't know, this is the house of Einstein in Switzerland, Bern. It has been made a uh, museum. Those of you who watch Sherlock Holmes series in Netflix, this is the Sherlock Holmes house downed museum in London. This is the Kafka Museum in Prague. I myself had visited. This is a very beautiful and nice place to know about Kafka and uh, the culture of Prague. And I have not given title to this home. Some of you may know, but I guess many of you would not. This is the house of Bishnurabha in Tejpur. So when you compare this house with these three, then we know where we are lacking. We, I picked that image from the Twitter account of Mr. Nandan Pratim Sharma Bardale. And why I have kept this in innovative, under innovative tag is we can turn this place with proper initiative and uh, proactiveness we can turn this place into a leading place an example of uh, cleanliness and self-sustainable self uh, house and it, we can turn into a museum it will generate jobs it will rev uh, generate its own revenue it will uh, it will help us spread our, save save our culture and heritage so this kind of initiatives can be a great uh, example and it can spread the awareness of uh, among the people in the surroundings plus it will uh, attract tourism as well but we just need proper kind of leadership and initiative to see this and take action. And uh, this is one important slide. Intelligent, for example, agriculture. Why I have picked agriculture? Because agriculture is a significant contributor to greenhouse gas, at the same time to GDP. So it is an important sector, which is very crucial in the background of the changing climate. And uh, by intelligent, what I mean is to suit the climate or with proper uh, knowledge of the changing climate, farmers can uh, adopt multi-cropping. In many of our places, farmers go for monocropping and they are not aware what the, uh, how the season is changing and how much time the crop takes to grow, mature and give fruit. So by doing a monocropping, they're losing. And by transferring to multi-cropping, they actually can earn at the same time, uh, uh, earn more uh, for the same amount of time and uh, 
the area of farmland they are having. Rainwater harvesting, again, it's, uh, it's a great way of storing water for farmers and deal with the dry days and short duration and high yield uh, varieties. So again, to suit the climate, if they are properly aware, uh, then they can pick up uh, vegetables to grow, which suits the condition of the changing climate. And this is a picture of polyhouse. A polyhouse is basically, uh, it's like a greenhouse kind of thing. And this plastic is slightly specialized and you can control the temperature inside a polyhouse to grow, uh, to suit the kind of vegetable you are growing. And if you, uh, when I drive around South Korea, oh, uh, I mean, I think almost all the farmlands are actually polyhouses because Korea has very drastic, different, uh, different, different drastic season. So these polyhouses uh, definitely help the, uh, help the farmers to grow their vegetables. So for these kind of informations, uh, we need to spread uh, the awareness. I mean, we need to take this information to the farmers. We need to communicate well with the farmers. There are in agencies like Agricultural Technology Application Research Institute, Atari, in Gohati, which is which works, I think, closely with National Initiative on Climate Resilient Agriculture. Uh, both are again related to uh, these two are related to national um, agriculture research center, uh, ICRA. Uh, so, yeah, we need to we need to spread this uh, spread the awareness of this modern agricultural techniques to the farmers. And good news is this, under this National Initiative on Climate Change, this one, uh, there has been a, a village picked up in Lokimpur, Samoa, and they found very good results in Samoa by adopting these kind of strategies by diverting into multi-cropping and rainwater harvesting and short duration high yield varieties. So this is another intelligent uh, action uh, to cope with the changing climate. And uh, lastly, transparent, complete and reliable information. So it's, it's a good news is the Assam government recently, uh, our chief minister has announced that there will be a separate department of climate change to tackle various threats. Uh, it will be uh, it will be it will be exciting to watch how that department functions, but I hope they will have uh, what I was telling is reliable information, complete information, and transparent information. What to do and uh, what to do in situation, as I had already mentioned in my uh, couple of a uh, few slides back that uh, for example uh, related to your car pollution certificate or uprooted tree or things like that or even they should have uh, links to connect farmers with the modern agricultural techniques and uh, yeah but uh, these these things will be under close watch and it will be it will be good to see how uh, i mean exciting to see how these department functions so yeah, I'm towards the end of my presentation. This is, uh, these are the take home message. So if you have missed all my slides from the beginning, I would like to like you to pay attention to this one. This has everything what I said. First is individual actions matter. Some people argue that in individual actions may not matter, but I strongly believe that this will create an ambience among the society which will compel the leader leaderships of uh, leaders of our society to pay more attention to uh, climate awareness and climate change is basically lifestyle change which i has all i have already mentioned that with the changing climate we cannot 
continue to live with the lifestyle we used to live before. We need to make certain changes. Waste management is one of the most visible and doable thing immediately in an in individual level. Collaborate, cooperate to combat climate crisis. I have cut combat and put navigate in place of it because we cannot fight with something we know that we cannot defeat. So for us, we need to collaborate and cooperate to navigate around climate crisis because everything we do, any, anything we do ex uh, affects everybody else in the world and whatever anybody else does in a different geographical location in the world, it affects us. So we need to be united in this, uh, and we need to uh, un uh, un we need to unite to navigate around the climate crisis. Feasibility, again, it's a big factor. We need to be able to assess the feasibility quotient, so that we know what are the things we can do, and accordingly we can take action, and be rational, critical, and log logical. Use the COVID training. So to assess the feasibility, you definitely need to be rational and critical and logical. And for that, there cannot be any better example than the COVID training. So we, during the COVID, we have respected the situation, yet our lives hasn't stopped. We have found out different ways to adapt to the situation of COVID pandemic. For example, COVID has stopped, as far as I know. In, uh, today, I think many of the districts there, uh, and between between different districts, there has been no uh, no no traveling is allowed. But we have we are human beings are clever. We have found out different ways. Even though you cannot travel from Tejpur to Nogao, you can still find a way to find a person sitting in South Korea to talk to you. So use the COVID training and be rational and critical and logical to find, assess the feasibility, to find a way to navigate around climate crisis and create awareness to generate a demand for transparent, complete and reliable information. This is where I think I have already mentioned JSA and Morgan College and institutions and uh, agencies like that can lead by examples to create an ambience where people will ask for and demand for more information, which actually will compel the governments to work towards that. And finally, basic knowledge. What I mean by basic knowledge is this is extra, which I have not presented in my previous slides. This is basic knowledge about climate science. Although Last 45 minutes or so, I have spoken about climate change, but climate science is not just climate change. Climate science is about how the different, uh, is about physics and chemistry and mathematics of climate. So we cannot teach everybody the research grade material, but we can certainly teach people the basic knowledge of climate science. Once you know climate science, it is much easier to convey uh, the message about climate change or uh, make people aware about climate change. So, and this is definitely doable. The basics of climate science is very preliminary thermodynamics, very preliminary chemistry. It's very easily understandable to common people if we can communicate it in a proper way. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, unless, if we do not know the basics of climate change, we will continue to make jokes about why weather forecasters cannot forecast our weather correctly over a sum. So normally in our place, we make jokes like if a rain is forecasted, then definitely there will, no be, there will be no rain. So these kind of jokes makes it difficult for make uh, difficult to make people aware about uh, climate science and climate change. So 
we need to uh, we need to introduce basic courses in high school levels in college levels about climate science and uh, just to note climate science is a little bit different from environmental science so uh, you need to understand why what is the uh, physics uh, behind uh, giving giving weather forecast so these kind of small small things uh, um, if introduced in school levels or um, communicated to people uh, general people through different ngos and agencies then uh, then things uh, i think it will be much easier to make people aware so yeah this is the last slide i call it the perfect ride and uh, this sums up my talk so it is this is your bicycle of progress this one and this wheel is your economic growth and the front wheel is climate action you cannot you cannot grow economically without paying attention to climate you need to pay attention your uh, uh, you need to take care of your climate you need to be aware you need to be cooperative and then with proper synchronization of these two wheels you will progress so that is the end of my talk thank you thank you so much so nice Thank you very much, sir, uh, for this well-researched information. Actually, I could not express how much I thankful to you for sharing such kind of knowledge. Uh, for awareness point of view, uh, your lecture is very much informative and brainstorming. We have lots of degree and PG students with us, and your lecture might be very fruitful for them also. Thank you very much, sir. Now this session is open for question and answer. And to conduct this session, I am requesting our moderator, Sanchari Bhattasarji, to kindly take over and open the open. query session. Over, the, over to Sanchari. Thank you, Thagish, ma'am. Uh, so I will be now starting with the q and session. So a few uh, participants has already put up questions in the chat box. Uh, rest of you can put up the questions now. So we have our first question here, which has been asked by Rijwana Ahmed, uh, ma'am, of our department. So uh, it is uh, how climate change is affecting our food. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I had already mentioned in the in one of my slides that with the changing season, uh, the agriculture is getting affected. So once the agriculture gets affected, the food is definitely going to get affected. And apart from that, if I don't know if uh, Mammy is asking about uh, the quality of the food, then I would like to uh, mention about my slide where I was uh, telling that some tea is getting affected by bad air quality. So fruits or vegetables will get affected, their quality will get affected by bad air quality. And again, soil is very much a part of our art system. So soil gets affected. When the soil gets affected, your vegetables are going to get affected. And from a business perspective, due to bad quality of soil, if, if a farmer is not getting uh, enough yield, then he will be forced to use more and more fertilizers. So what more fertilizers will do, it will make your food bad. At the same time, it will further deteriorate the quality of the soil. Next, next year when he will uh, grow something, he will be forced to use even more fertilizer. So that way your food quality goes down due to uh, 
yeah, it's a different issue that with more uh, uh, with more uh, with less area available for agriculture, the food security is will always be an issue. But uh, keeping everything aside, if we only consider the food quality, then yes, the bad air quality and the bad soil quality due to changing climate may definitely affect uh, may affect the food quality of the food. Okay, Sanchari, may I ask a question to our honorable speaker? Sure, sure, ma'am. Sure, okay. go ahead. Thank you very much, sir for enlightening us with your information and resource to As well as political science, but how? But yes, my geology level political science of common me life and a person is going to be done. It was done. It was done. In today's generation, climate change has become energy. Yet, there are certain first world countries which denies the current situation all for the economic and political advantages. How would you like to comment on that? Okay, that's. Ah, etu moi budhi bo parisu apni political science or kani political dharan or question ata kudi sa. It's difficult to comment though. Ah, karon nobody would like to stay behind. Bharat or nisna ekhon developing country definitely progress kore bolle bisari bo. Aro. अमेरिका जो तो वह मार्क है यूके इन्हें को जहाँ ना था जी बिल्कुल ऑलरेडी प्रोग्रेस करे ले दे हैव एमिटेड अ लॉट ऑफ ग्रीनहाउस व्हेन दे वर प्रोग्रेसिंग सो इतिहास ते हम लोग के जो दी बेले कंट्री बिल्कुल को है जाए अपना लोग के एमिशन तू बंद हो करो इमान के नी इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन अपना लोग के न it's a dilemma because we are all together in this. I mean, it is a balance point. Bisari uliya bola ki bo ke political thona ajora to soli thake, soli thaki bo political thona ajora. The shape of the problem gets distorted. So yeah, as I said, it's difficult to comment. Je tiam loke amak. But developing country be like uh, emission uh, reduce corribole jewel cora, but then look at Jedra but a coil. But yeah, it's difficult to comment though. But individual actions be like or uh, I mean, as individuals, basic focus corribo paru, and we can create an ambience. The Sorkar Hokole, Bharatot Burino, or not high to Manuhe climate. Uh, Awareness about climate protection or current agenda, the good to develop it, bad to hold. Current political agenda, bilak ultimately, manuhe ki bisar, khomaje ki bisar. Ke pur or uparote base kori pelaye hoy. Kothi ke ami jodi ne kora ambience create kori bo paro, kiche halay definitely kotha bilak allop man holoni ho pa thoran bo. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. Hello, Rizana. Can I make a question, sir? Can I make a question? Oh, uh, sure, ma'am. Go ahead. Oh, okay. First of all, thanks a lot, Dr. Bidu Vikas Goswami. It is our good luck to you to know you uh, through this webinar. Your amazing, knowledgeable lectures enlightened our mind. Sir, my query is <laughs> I want to explain a situation of Assam. We have seen in the news and TV. That the, the worst uh, product you have already said that three hours are necessary no? recycle, reduce, and reuse. Yes. But uh, we have seen in a news of TV that the worst material of some area of Gohati is used to heat in Sandrapur area. Uh, some of eco friendly people of Sandrapur protested against it. Actually, sir, there is no recycle practice. We generally use, we are trying to reduce the uh, carry bag, or we are there is no provision of recycle, but we there is no provision of reuse also. 
So what to do? My query is actually, sir, there is no recycle practice in a proper way in Assam. The situation is actually created a panic to the lovers of nature. So how can I, can you get rid of this, sir? Yeah. What steps can you take? Exactly. Apunar prasnodor babe dhonnobad. Actually, a kothate ada khub. Mane more already more presentation at important bolli mention kori shu. Haan, haan. Ekda kothai shu tu. Haan. Important kothato hole transparent information and reliable and complete information jitu ma kori shu. जब मैं साउथ कोरिया बोही था कि बा ओको मैं जी कोने अदा था इत बोही था कि सोनरपुर मानो है जोने कि भूगिया से ये को था तो पटके कमेंट कोरी बोले दिखदारी होए दिखदारी होए सर हम्म किंतु ये को था तो एकोन सरकार और कारने दिखदारी हो बना लगे है सर त्यानलोगों को और जो भी दिखदारी न होए त्यान तेरे लोगों और पोर्टलों ए इनफॉरमेशन तो थकी बोला गये जे अपुनी कैरीबैक तू कोट पहला बो अपुना कैरीबैक तू ता अपुनी पहलवार पास हो कोलो जाबो अपुना कैरीबैक तू गुटे जानी तू ये वेबसाइट और जो भी मेंशन करा थके तितिया हले अपुना जो भी नेबर ए कैरीबैक तू हेठाई पहलवा नहीं अपुनी प गुटे के अपुनर अपनी जितो केस उल्लेख कोरी से ये तो क्लियर केस ऑफ लैक ऑफ इनफॉरमेशन याते अप माने मौय अपनी जो दी माने जोत वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट करा हो प्रॉपर्ली जी जी बोर थाईट करा हो मौय जोत किस्मान थाईट देखी सो ताते वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट और करने प्रॉपर इंस्ट्रक्शन दिया था के जब अपनी कोट की पहला बो और जो दी अपना घरों दांगों टीवी ऐता आसे जितु बया हो से जितु अपनी पहला बो नुआरे अपना टीवी तो बया हो तो अपनी दास बिनों पहला बो नुआरे गुरी का अपना प्रॉपर एड्रेस ऐता दिया आसे जे ए टू थाईलो गोपले अपनी टीवी तो डिस्पोज कोई बोला है गुरी के एनेक्वा धरनो अरु खेतु दुविधा हुई था केले अल्टीमेटली मानो हो बिरोक्ती जन्मी बो जे वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट आमी किन्हों कोरी मारो एको तो लाभ हुआ नहीं तो ठीक है एक हेतु रोट क्लियर इंस्ट्रक्शन और भूमिका खुबे दो दौर का ही सर एक इंद आगे तक पता करो सर तब से अपने जो आसे सील और रिसाइकल बिल्ला से लोई जाए इने ओकोन मान साह कोक्सन किन्हें को आधार न ढाव प्लास्टिक तो रिसाइकल करने ढाव ने कोई बाबा है अपनी किताब को पाई बनी था ओ यारे रिसाइकल मेकानिज्म तो दिखाए मर खूब हैरी कोई ना जानो ओ माने यारे मेनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन है की कोरे किंतु त्यानो के नियमिया के अमी जी पहलाऊं आरु खोदाया अपनी पहला पहला बोलो माना करा था के घर क मूल घर पर मौहे केवल मॉल बार फुकुर बार आरु देव बारे पहला बो पड़ो सो तेरे के के तू इंस्ट्रक्शन लोग के मौहे जानो कि तार पिसोत किस्मन मेटेरियल लोग पिसे याते लिखा हुआ था के दे अपनी बाजार पर किन्हीं लो लिखा था के जे मेटेरियल तो यार प्लास्टिक और पारी साइकल कोई बन Thank you, sir. Khub bhal lagi le. Thank you, sir. Koi apni dunya ko kulle mo bhal lagi le. Thank you again, sir. Thank you. Okay, so our next question is from Anandita Deka. So she has asked that what unique thing can be learned from people of South Korea about daily practices like managing daily waste, and what can they learn from India? Okay, daily practices. Of people of South Korea, uh, I love to think, but sir, I think uh, because I'm very much, uh, I would like to interrupt you. Sorry, yeah, but um, 
I am very much like uh, like I'm very much interested in South Korean uh, lifestyle. Actually, I've seen one difference and one very big good uh, change. I think I think they use uh, the bathroom uh, in the in the bathrooms. I think I have here. I saw that in uh, in the wash basin they actually collect the wash basin water into the komod uh, the uh, the fla fla flash. I think okay. and yeah and that way they are like really conserving water. Oh yeah, Do, I have not. Uh, I think the next one or no mechanism, uh, some new thing got thaki bo, but more than two got thaku. That the next one or no heavy nae, the wash basin or pani to flush tank got collect kora hoy. But what I personally do is, jikini uh, fall mul dhua ba khak pasoli dhua pani thake. Jikini pani ghorote ako bebahar kori bapari. Ye gute pani kini fullot dium. Jare fullot di bolu moi extra pani use kori bolu gya no hoy. Ba basan dhule moi ekbarote, bohut basan ekbarote dhu. Ekhon samus ekhon samus ke dhui na thaku. Ba agote Abu Dhabi thakote dishwasher use kori silo. Titiyao dishwasher tu jitiyao ke full no hoy titiyao ke use no kor. बाल लॉन्ड्री यूज करें ले जितिया लोग के फुल लॉन्ड्री टू कपूर जमानो है कितिया लोग के लॉन्ड्री टू यूज न करो बाय यस इनफैक्ट आई हैव सीन एन अमेजिंग ट्रिक इंटरेस्टिंग ट्रिक जब फ्लास्ट टैंक को मानो है ऐता बोतल भराई थोए कारण फ्लास्ट टैंक बोल जिमान दागोर एक्चुअली बहुत एक कैलकुल but if you have a flash tank, you can save a bottle of water. So, if you have a bottle of water, you can save a bottle of water. If you have a bottle of water, you can save a flash tank. You can save a lot of water. So, yeah, coming back to the lifestyle of South Korea, I am what people can learn. Is people are very, very... They 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 are very, very... Given by the government, and one one amazing thing I have noticed. Jitu Bharatot ketiyao notice korana silu. Mane akhomon kotha korsa akhomon ketiyao notice korana silu. Amar yada mane akhomon kule thakena hot private kisman place aru sarkari kisman place. So, when I go to the government or the office, I would expect that the government is not safe in the government office. And when I go to the government or private government, I would like to say that the government is not safe in the government maintenance. In South Korea, there is one thing. The government is not safe in the government, but the government is not safe. Even remote area kunoba sarkari heri hok ba rasta ghaate ji bilak highway bilak ghaat ji bilak bathroom thakke. Sarkari huwaar loge loge gute bathroom tu iman safa. Jitu kotha aami akhamat kolpana kori bano aru. Sarkari maane amar daat as if we have got the license to destroy that property. Gute ke के कथा तो याते खुबे भाल लगा जे सरकारी बुस्ते विला खुब भाल आरु दीती होते ऐता कथा आँखों में आमनु हैं साउथ कोरिया पर खुबे भाल के हिट बो पड़े हाउ टू प्रोटेस्ट आँखों में जी है तो आँखों बंद हो प्रोटेस्ट इत्ता दी इत्ता दी होए थके गोटी के आँखों में आमनु हैं साउथ कोरिया पर हिट बो पड़े � साउथ एतिया सोलह जो आ किसी दिन आगोटे एतिया आलोमा नारु स्ट्रिक्ट हुई से बेमार डू बाहर किन्हों किसी दिन आगोलो के एने को आरा इंस्ट्रक्शन असिल जब दो हजार नोट के बेसी मानु लॉग हो बनुआ है जी कुनो प्रोटेस्ट कोई बोर कारणों दो हजार नोट के बेसी मानु लॉग हो बनुआ है के कोठार दूर प्रोटेस्ट हुई से � स्टैंडिंग होई थोका ख़मोए रहो हुए से प्रोटेस्ट कोई बोले सॉइज़ जोन मानों कोई से दो जोन उनके बेसिस जोन है जितिया तेमलों को प्रोटेस्ट तो सरकारे मानी बो जो के तार पासवर्ड है दो जोन उनके बेसिस मानो लॉग होगो 
কিন্তু যেতিয়ালৈকে সেই ইনস্ট্ৰাকচনটো আছে যে দহজনতকে বেছি মানুহ লগ হব নোৱাৰে সেই নিয়মটো প্ৰটেষ্ট কৰিব গৈছে প্ৰটেষ্ট কৰিব যাওঁতে কিন্তু দহজনতকে কমে মানুহ হৈছে গতিকে অসমৰ মানুহে চৰকাৰী ইনষ্ট্ৰাকচন মানি পেলাই প্ৰটেষ্ট কেনেকে কৰিব লাগে সেই কথাটো শিকিব পাৰে আৰু চৰকাৰেও ইয়াৰে মানুহৰ খুবেই ভাল কেয়াৰ লয় সাউথ কোৰিয়াত আপোনালোকে জানে নে নাজানে নাজানো আজিলৈকে লকডাউন হোৱা নাই ইমান বেমাৰ মাজত সাউথ কোৰিয়াই বিভিন্ন ধৰণে হেৰি কৰিছে কিন্তু লকডাউন হোৱা নাই লকডাউন কেৱল এই কাৰণে হোৱা নাই যে চৰকাৰে লকডাউন হ'লে মানুহৰ ডেইলি যিটো কাম ডেইলি কামটো দূৰে কথা ডেইলি যিখিনি এণ্টাৰটেইনমেণ্ট আছে সেইখিনিতো যাতে বাধা নপৰে তাৰ কাৰণেও দোকান পোহাৰবিলাক একেবাৰে বন্ধ কৰি দিয়া নাই দহটা বজালৈকে খোলা ৰাখিছে সাউথ কোৰিয়া মানে বিশেষকৈ চৌলৰ নাইট লাইফ ভেৰি ফেমাছ চৌলত ৰাতি দুটা তিনিটা বজালৈকে মানুহ ঘূৰি ফুৰে ধুনীয়াকৈ ৰেষ্টুৰেণ্টত বহি দুটা তিনিটা বজালৈকে খুলি ৰাখিবলৈ দিয়া নাই কিন্তু দহটা বজালৈকে খুলি ৰাখিবলৈ দিছে যাতে মানুহৰ এণ্টাৰটেইনমেণ্ট অলপ হ'লেও থাকে চ' ইয়া সেইবিলাক কথা সাউথ কোৰিয়াৰ পৰা খুবেই বেছি শিকিবলগীয়া যে চৰকাৰ মানুহৰ প্ৰতি খুব দায়িত্বশীল আৰু মানুহ চৰকাৰৰ প্ৰতি খুবেই ৰেছপেক্টফুল Okay, uh, so our next question is coming from Pooja Roy, uh, that is uh, the nutrient value of these fast growing high yield crop varieties grown in the poly houses. So what is the nutrient value of these uh, fast growing high yield crops? Oh, okay, that is totally beyond my expertise and knowledge, sorry. Ketu Karone, there is, uh, I think I can direct you to এই যে আটারি বুলি ক'লো এগ্ৰিকালচাৰেল যিটো ইনষ্টিটিউচন মই মেনচন কৰিছিলোঁ বা ইণ্ডিয়ান কাউন্সিল ফৰ এগ্ৰিকালচাৰেল ৰিচাৰ্চ আই চি এ আৰ এনেকুৱা ধৰণৰ ৱেবছাইটত গ'লে তেওঁলোকক কণ্টেক্ট কৰিলে তেওঁলোকে ক'ব পাৰিব তেওঁলোকৰ ৰিপ্ৰেজেণ্টেটিভ মানে গুৱাহাটীটো ষ্টেট মোৰ লাগে তেওঁলোকৰ ৰিপ্ৰেজেণ্টেটিভ অফিচ থাকিব আৰু নিজা যদি ফাৰ্ম আছে বিশেষকৈ যদি তাৰ কাৰণে সুধিছে তেতিয়াহ'লে একেবাৰে ডিটেইল ইনফৰ্মেশ্যন তাৰ পৰা পাব Okay, thank you, sir. So, <clears throat> the next question is from Jayashree Nath. And uh, uh, she has asked that whether international binding mitigation mechanisms and voluntary mechanisms are helpful method to tackle climate change. And uh, will Paris Agreement will uh, play important role in it or not? Okay, this is more like a political question. But international binding... I don't think we have to worry about international binding. Uh, international binding, what do you call it? Mitigation mechanism. Okay, international binding meca- mitigation mechanism. I'm not sure I understood it completely as a international binding. But yeah, mitigation mechanisms... Uh, Yeah, it may help in some sense that people of different culture and different background will join together. Uh, then people will get a different view altogether of the problem. But yeah, otherwise, as I said, because individual actions matter, or locally, Kibata Kam Kurile, local public or Karne Kunubata NGO Juri Kam Kore, Tenlokor Kam Tur. যিমান ফ্ৰুট হ'ব ইণ্টাৰনেশ্যনেল বাইণ্ডিং থাকিলেও সিমানেই ফ্ৰুটফুল হ'ব অনলি থিং ইজ ইণ্টাৰনেশ্যনেল বাইণ্ডিং থাকিলে প্ৰবাবলি ইট উইল গেট মোৰ ভিজিবিলিটি দেট মে ক্ৰিয়েট দেট মে মেক ইট ইজিয়াৰ টু মেক পিপল মোৰ এৱেৰ চ' ইয়া আদাৰ দেন দেট ইয়া আই এম চৰি ইফ দেট ডিডেণ্ট এনচাৰ দা কোৱেশ্যন আই হোপ ইট ডিড ওকে স্যার Uh, so the next question is how late are we in controlling or stopping climate change in assam and uh, and what are the changes we need to make in the process of controlling climate change to get more outcome and it is coming from ramashankar bordoloi okay how late are we uh there is no uh there is there is no scale to say how late are we because in a quarter year nine 
বা এনেকা একটা টাইম আমি কব ন প্রিসাইজলি পয়েন্ট আউট করব ন যে ক্লাইমেট চেঞ্জ আরম্ভ হল বা এনেকা হল মানে যে কথা মেনশন করেছিল টুয়ার্ডস দা এন্ড অফ মাই টক যে ক্লাইমেট চেঞ্জ ইজ আ রেসপন্স অফ দা হোল আর্থ এটমসফিয়ার সিস্টেম টু দা গ্রিন হাউস গ্যাসেস অর টু দা ডিফারেন্ট ইয়া টু দা ডিফারেন্ট ক্লাইমেট ফোর্সিংস ফোর্সিং বলে কোয়ান্ট ওয়ান অফ দা ফোর্সিং ইজ গ্রিন হাউস গ্যাসেস সো এই ফোর্সিং ইট ইট টেকস আ লং টাইম ফর আর্থ টু রেসপন্ড যে মানে আমার যদি গোটাই পৃথিবী কেবল এটমসফিয়ার হল হয় মানে বাই এটমসফিয়ার আই মিনস দা এয়ার পার্ট যদি সাগর না থাকলে হয় হলে থিংস উড হ্যাভ বিন মাছ মোর ইমিডিয়েট ইন দ্য সেন্স দ্যাট টাইম ল্যাগ না থাকলে হয় আমি কিনা এটা করছো বহু ইমিডিয়েটলি আমি এটা রেসপন্স তো দেখা পালো হয় কিন্তু সাগর থাকার কারণে সাগরে উই আমার রিসার্চ আমি কোম যে ওশন হ্যাজ লং মেমোরি লং মেমোরি ইন দ্য সেন্স ইফ ইউ ডু সামথিং টুডে ওশন রিমেম্বার ইস ইট এন্ড আফটার ফিউ ইয়ার্স ইট মে বি লাইক থাউজেন্ডস অফ ইয়ার্স ইট মে কাম ব্যাক টু ইউ গতি হাউ লেট বোলে কথা তো একচুয়ালি ইটস সেলফ ইজ এম্বিগুয়াস অনলি থিং ইজ উই নো দ্যাট ক্লাইমেট ইজ চেঞ্জিং and it is changing in a way which didn't happen before and as i said it's a change in lifestyle so we need to adapt to respect the changing climate and act accordingly so yeah there is no and and uh, as far as uh, how paris agreement will play a role or how uh, whether we will be able to bring it back to 1.5 I mean, keep it down below 1.5. So, it or no personal bill, uh, it will depend on how we act in the future, in the near future, rather. Because we are approaching very fast towards 1.5 degree centigrade. So, different models are different projection courses. But all of them have some commonality. But, uh, yeah, it depends on different, uh, how, how we are going to act. thank you okay thank you sir so this next next question is from narendra nath datta and he has asked that what kind of eco friendly policy we can use to minimize the low quality pollutant like garbages in the village or a town what kind of what kind of uh, eco friendly policy okay what kind of eco friendly policy i don't know it it will it will boil down to how that plastic has been manufactured but on an individual or local level only thing i can think of is minimizing the use or reusing or recycling but uh, that's the most uh, eco friendly approach i can think of as far as user end is concerned but manufacturing end or para eco friendly approach ki hobo pare again i mean that is beyond my area of expertise okay thank you sir so the next question is how can we get both quality and quantity of food at the same time and it has come from nina rabha quantity and uh, quality uh one way would be to do organic farming which is uh but organic is a sometimes it can be misleading because Uh, sometimes people say organic food but there has been shift from a far far 
place. So the carbon footprint it leaves in stripping it actually overcompensates the amount of emission you are reducing by doing organic farming. So organic farming has to happen in a local, uh, locally. And uh, yeah, I think quantity and quality of food uh, can be ensured by doing well-informed and uh, well-informed agriculture. So we will take care of the soil. We will keep in mind the changing climate or the climate in general. We will not try to force growing food for commercial demand but yeah as i said there will be lots of ifs and buts associated depending on where you are uh, what you want to eat and uh, you cannot expect to have the same kind of quality and quantity which our forefathers used to uh, avail because the times are different some things maybe you will get better and more compared to older days some things you may not get there will be some changes so yeah uh, better informed agriculture is one way to um, at least uh, at least get as much as possible better quality and quantity. Okay. So, Sorry. Uh, yes, Sorry. Huh? We, should, we should sum up because we have a shortage of time. Yes, uh, surely. So, I'll just uh, ask the rest of the participants to drop down, uh, like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm dropping down your email ID in the chat box. So the rest of the participants can uh, mail your questions to sir here. And uh, I'm, I'm sure you will be followed up. So now I would like to invite Bhagyashree ma'am uh, to take over the session. So over to you, ma'am. Thank you very much, Sanchari. Am I audible? Yeah. Yeah, you are audible. Okay, thank you very much, sir, and thank you very much, participants, for uh, taking particip uh, taking participation in this particular session. Because without your queries, our uh, query session is meaningless. So thank you very much, sir. Now I am going to our next agenda. That is small speech from our honorable guest. So uh, now I'm requesting uh, Dr. Priyabrata Lohkot, sir. He is being with us from the beginning to uh, say a few words towards our webinar. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Bhagya Sri. Am I audible? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. You are audible. Yes, yeah. 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 You are audible. Respected principal, welcome to Water Group, who has inaugurated this webinar. And my deep sense of leadership and thanks and congratulations to Dr. Vidit Bikas Swami, who hails from Assam and being high level of riches of global concern to climate change. It is really a very great debate on climate change with the developed countries and developing countries. Developed countries has released so much of gases which destroying our cover, atmospheric cover, that is the ozone cover, and giving us some other things, heating up the earth, melting our ice caps, rising of the sea levels, and heat generated everywhere destroying our crops, changes our food habits. These all these very efficient measures, debatable measures, and highly resource measures. And I'm thankful to Gusami very nicely and very vividly he has discussed it in 
give us so much of information for the benefit of our students, teachers, research scholars, and all of us like me. Thank you very much. And as you have said, the JSA and Morgan College can lead one to show the people, show the generation that something we could do, we can do, and we should do it right from today. Thank you very much. I thank our general secretary, who is the president of this college, for organizing this very uh, interesting topic as well as very developmental. And I have seen our Hello Duty from Kukrajhar. Uh, he is also very much interested in on it, in the high level research and other things. And I think some of our students can take up this subject of climate change in any aspects on our agriculture, on our food production, on our mentality as well as it. But one thing I am not clear even, that as you have said, Dr. Bissami has mentioned, that if Guwahati weather can go to call the Kaila Gurukhan Devot, then it is Gurukhan Media. But what does that different climate change as it affect on weather? Or the weather is changing by our man-made uh, oh, anthropogenic works? That is the question to be. Uh, known to me. Anyway, thank you very much for well organizing these things, like Josie and Sansari and other organizers of this college. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, today with us, um, Dr. Jogen Sundra Kolita, sir, he is like a father figure for us because he is uh, President GB Morgan College. So I am requesting him to kindly share some view towards us and uh, encourage our participants and the organizers also. Over to you, sir. Okay, thank you, Dr. Bhagyasri Mohanta. Bhagyasri actually did her PhD uh, under my supervision from Department of Zoology, Gohati University. I'm delighted to see the active, very young, dynamic Professor Vitu Vikas Goswami, who is speaking from Seoul. And I had a long connection with him. When I saw him for the first time, he was presenting to CNB College Bukakat. That is also a developing college. And many of the faculty members and students, they're joining today. So on that day, I asked him, where are you from? He said, I am from Tezpur. So as I am also from Tezpur, that collaboration already developed. So therefore, today, with active participation of the esteemed college, the Morigao College, one of the oldest colleges in India, and the principal is Dr. Lilakanta Bhattagur. He is a man of mathematics. So every time to the point. So therefore, congratulations uh, to Dr. Bortakur, Lilakanta Bortakur, principal, and man of action. When we did give the title, we have put the word action, I was talking to the principal. That is very good that you develop collaboration because we did is a man of action, and you are also a man of action. So lead your institution so that we can help. Our JDC president, sir, Priyavatul Lakar, sir, is very active always, very senior. And he had long association with all academic institutions at all levels, from school to higher secondary to university and in between colleges. And under his leadership, JDC has been flourishing, always positive. If I do something and inform him after doing, then also he said, approve Professor Kolita, no problem. And also we have very senior members, okay, in here sitting uh, like Dr. Ranjit Kolita, IQSC member, senior, okay, professors, vice principal, Dr. Hemalata Sarma, and many faculty members of Morigao College, whom I know that they, whenever you say anything, immediately uh -huh. say that yes. So that yes is always what we expect from you. I can see, okay, today, Dr. Buddhi Nazarika, one of the very senior principals, he was now retired, and Hilozuti Sina, a professor, head of the department of Borland University. That is the hot spot, or rather I can mention as the gold mine. 
okay, regarding biodiversity, but we need to protect the, okay, the situation, the environment, biodiversity. That, okay, uh, we need to act how to preserve all these resources and with careful action. Individual action matters. What uh, Vidut said, I appreciate your this sort of message. Individual action matters. So therefore, J.F. Kennedy said, even a person can make a difference. Therefore, everyone should try. Even a person can make a difference. And therefore, everyone should try. That should be our approach. When we talk about collaboration, I'm very happy. Being the GB president of Murigao College, I will act so I will work with IQC. Dr. Ranjit Kolita is listening to me and we will be making some sort of short term, long term and very long term program. So that professor like Vidyut Vikas Goswami and many from different parts of the world and from across India, we can work together, we can plan together and we can guide Dr. Bhagyasri, Sangsari and many other young faculty members in this particular region where we are proud of our people because as whenever you talk about community we are very rich in community whenever you talk about relation we are so good in maintaining relation because 200 communities of people more than 200 dialects and languages and we practice here with lots of cultures and when you think about how we live, that we know how to live, how to live together. So that is the most important objective of education. The living, how to live together is, that is the one of the pillars of learning as stated by UNESCO. So with this all basic understanding, uh, Bidut was putting very much strong assertion on basics, basics about climate policy. I would like to request Dr. Bortakur because this is the platform where we can say something very, very specifically about developing curriculum. So I would like to request Dr. Bortakur to develop climate science as a module, maybe two, three, four modules, but that will be a certificate course, a degree course. Dr. Kusre is there, okay, or Dr. Kamal Bhuya, head of the department, geology is there. Many members from political science departments are there. So if we sit together, we can make a course, a political science student can also uh, go with it. And also any student from Putani Geology, Geography, Biotechnology, Microbiology, all disciplines. So it is very important for all of us, all disciplines, humanities, science, commerce, trade, as is talk about economics also, to be together. And we are together. We do it in here. I think Sir, you are not able. Connection got lost. Sir, are you there? Yeah, I think uh, there is some network issue. Uh, so he will be soon. I think there is some network issue. Okay, then uh, you will join join soon. So um, we have with us today, we have, we have with us Dr. Ranjit Kumar Kalita, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah, he hello, is hello. Yeah, hello. I got to be. It's coming. I'm back sir, now. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> because it is yeah, because yes. our depa department electricity, the electricity is just failed. And because of that, yes, I am sir. joining to the mobile. Because always I am very careful okay, about energy. As the light has gone, I was okay uh, thinking about that. If light goes off, how, what to do? So this is my alternative. So my dear friends, you are very young. I'm going to finish in two minutes. I just want to 
uh, okay, request you that develop this connection as a very dynamic connection. At least 5% of the students who are with me now here, please apply for international scholarships, international fellowships. Professor Bidjut because Goswami will be giving you the reference. And we from Guwahati, we will also give you the reference. And with our letter of reference, recommendation, letter of recommendation, you can apply to any fellowship, any scholarship in the world, and you can go out of India to research in top ranking universities, like where Bidjut Vikas has been working. And he was working in America, he has already mentioned. He was working in Abu Dhabi. So if Professor Bidjut Gumar Goswami, Bidjut Vikas Goswami can help, I think your way will be open to the outside world. Don't think that COVID will be always with us. Okay, as the Prime Minister of UK said, let us live with COVID together. Let us live with the virus together. So therefore, I am uh, finally, I am also requesting you to follow all the SOP given by the government. Respect the government rules and regulation. Respect the law of the land and work together respectfully. Respect is very, very important. That should not be lacking in our education. And narrating to his experience in South Korea, what he was saying, that they are respectful to the government. They know how to respect people. So those are the things, very important lesson uh, we could learn today from Bidjut Vikas Goswami, professor okay, from South Korea. So thank you, wish you good luck. Thank you. To all of you, thank you so much. I'm sorry for this okay, disruption in the uh, electricity, but now I am comfortable. Thank you, Bidjut. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, for your kind speech and advice. And uh, uh, today now, uh, today with us, uh, Dr. Ranjit Kumar Kalita, sir. He is um, IQSC coordinator, Morigaon College. So uh, I am requesting him to kindly share some uh, view towards us and uh, bless us. Uh, over to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, oh, uh, uh, good evening to everybody. Respected principal of Morigaon College, Dr. Lilakanto Vartabu, Honorable GB President of Morigaon College, Professor Jivanchandra Kalita, Respected Resource Person, Dr. Bhikthu Bikas Kuswami, Research Professor, Irreversible Climate Change Research Center, Yangtze University, Seoul, South Korea, Guest of Honor, Professor Priyabhata Lohakar, President of Zoological Society of Assam, and Dr. Bolendra Kumar Das, working president of Zoological mm -hmm. Society of Assam. Respected Dr. Kamal Sandovya, head of the Department of Zoology. Respected other members of our organizing committee and participant of this webinar. I feel honored that organizing committee of this webinar asks me to talk in brief in presence of such brilliant resource person and distinguished guests. As a coordinator, I want to disclose that this is the elephant webinar organized, organized by IQSC and various department of our college. In this pandemic situation of 2021, other five to six webinars are scheduled in coming days. I think this is a brilliant effort done by our colleagues under the visionary, visionary leadership of Principal L.K. Bodhakur and our GB President, Professor Jugen Sandar Kalita. The Zoology Department also done a tremendous job by organizing an international webinar on the vital topic, climate change, lessons and actions. All of we know that how climate change harming our environment. The previous speaker describes elaborately about it. Therefore, I do not want to talk on climate change. The zoology department is one of the oldest department of our science team. Zoology is the second postgraduate department of our college. They are doing excellent job in the field of teaching, learning, 
and evaluation. Teachers are also busy actively in publishing research papers, which help the college in grading system. Morigan College today flourishes and continue with four, four streams. There are science, commerce, and computer education. The college also introduces some vocational and add-on courses for interest of our local students. The commerce department is a self-financing department and it, it is the first of its kind in our districts. The climate change become a burning problem in our group. We hope that the information obtained from this webinar help us a lot. I also want to disclose that our college campus is a green, green campus and full of thousands of trees. Every Saturday in our college, all employees and students trying to use public transport or bicycle to reduce carbon emission. It is our noble and tiny efforts to save our environment, which was initiated by our principal. These are my few words for today. I once again congratulate to all stakeholders for organizing this webinar. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, now we are going to our last session, that is a vote of thanks and closing speech, which will be given by our HOD, Department of Geology, Morgan College, Dr. Kamal Sandhu Mian, sir. So I'm requesting him to kindly offer the vote of thanks. Over to you, sir. OK. Um, thank you, Vagyasi. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah, you are audible. Come on. Yeah. Good. Very good evening, honorable chief guests, present excellencies, teachers, and my dear friends. It is a big day in the history of our department. Today, we have hosted the first international webinar. And I think the department for giving me the opportunity to express my gratitude on this special day which more than 200 participants constantly present from various institutions and colleges make this event a huge success in its life itself. I would like to thank principal, our dynamic principal, Dr. Lilaganta Bodhakur, for his uh, permission and facilities, provisional facilities, providing facilities for organizing such type of webinar in the COVID pandemic situation. I offer my sincere gratitude to Professor Jesse Kalita, Zugan Kalita, sir, HOD, Department of Zoology, GU, Secretary, Zoological Society of Assam, and also the President of Morino College. With only his courage and help, we are able to connect us internationally. Thanks goes to Dr. Vidyut Vikas Goswami, Research Professor, IRCC, Yonsei University, Seoul, for his wonderful presentation. It was very educational and beneficial for us. But more importantly, seeing a person from Assam becoming a research professor in a respected university in South Korea is a huge inspiration to us the Assamese community and the future research professors with us here today. I would like to thank Dr. Priyabhat Longkar sir for his gracious presence, seeing him in every uh, SAS webinar organized by ZSA and other department. It shows he is the proof that age is just a number. Thank you, sir. I would like to thank our IQSA team, leading by Dr. Ranjit Kalita, for arranging such type of webinar in this uh, in the uh, COVID-19 situation, connecting us, giving us opportunity to connecting us, just like before sometimes uh, that our Bidus because Gosami has said, even the people from Nogao cannot visit as poor, but COVID has uh, learned us how we connect the people of Morigao with at, sitting at South Korea. So this is the certain positive side of COVID-19. I would like to thanks, special thanks goes to 
Dr. Bhagyasri Mahanta, which for our sincere effort for organizing uh, and conducting the seminar webinar so smoothly. So thanks goes to the technical coordinator of the team, Dr. Bul Sri Bulbul Das. Without, without, without him, this, it is not possible for us to organize such works. I'm very much thankful to all the departmental colleagues and staffs, Usray, Abdul, Sansari, they play the role of moderate, moderator, Rijuana, and all for their sincere effort to make the webinar a successful one. Sir, I want to uh, add a few lines as a concluding remark. Last year, when Arunak has uh, organized one international webinar, then first we have uh, learned about the uh, COVID-19, that is Chinese participant cannot attend the seminar, attend the international conference organized by RNO. But nowadays, that phenomena is at our doorstep, which has changed our life totally. Now, the impact of that COVID-19 virus, the least known about one year ago in the 19th, during 20, first half of 20, now it is our doorstep, it has changed our daily life. When any one of us see international news on climate, it shows that how a wind originate over some sea or ocean, travel throughout the around the globe and touch every nook and corner. So my view is that any action taken around in the world has its impact in other parts as well, but they remain unnoticeable until finally exerts a drastic effect. We are waiting for our drastic, then, then we notice only the drastic effect when it arises. So time has come to follow the slogan, think globally, but act locally. With this few words, with your permission, I would like to conclude the today's webinar. Thank you all. Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you. 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 Ami Ahibat Disu, Tem Niko Polo Haitulu Jauk, Tem Kamore that a good bisoy benefit by Aru Amitu Gorum Manjo, like a head of the department, a Komol Biai, or Hundorko, Doctor Biai Kuli, the Homorata Lura, Keneke World Class University, World Class Work Kuri, Enikoko Bisot, Somok Logadis. We do talk into Namto Kunet to Isilemur than Ibomonja. Well, ভাল লাগিল মানে মই আৰু দুটা মান কথা অসমীয়াতে কলে মনটো ভাল লাগে কাৰণে কৈছো এই ভাগ্যসি যেতিয়া মোটাত পৰি থাকে হি ওয়াজ ফার্স্ট ক্লাস ফার্স্ট ফ্রম মৰিগাঁও কলেজ ই প্ৰডাক্ট অফ মৰিগাঁও কলেজ নাও সি ইজ এ লেকচাৰ গতিকে ই ধৰণৰ কথা বিলাকে মানে মনটো খুব ভাল কৰি দিয়ে এটা ইমান সুকাম ইয়াতে একো পঢ়াব নালাগে তাই সি নোজ এভ্ৰিথিং ইজেই সব কৰে যেনেকে আমাৰ কমল হতে জানে কমল I guess it's a little bit of 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 a are we can buy the Uliana IQC step loose? Are we Ohakalo Ratipue? I go on physics or asset, it didn't I economic source, I call a good who go to Panace. Oh, Galo Duconas are economics, eh? Mazota English or English German Corile, also the chemistry coise, but you get easy to cotta, the big duties to feel coise hosa. I mean, more test polluters upon our Mogorle. Kotha pati bolu ani ke dikja. Kintu ma bidhu tor South Korea logot we are connecting and we can have discourse on very vital issues. 
সংসারী এজন নতুন ছালী তাই বহু চোকা গিয়ে তাই আজি বড় ধুয়াকে করেছে মানে ভাগ্যশ্রী আর সংসারী খুব নোটিস করে আসো ইন দিয়ার কন্ডাক্ট ভেরি ভেরি নাইসলি দে হ্যাভ ডান এক্সেলেন্ট মানে আর আমার কুয়েশন যাকে সুদিছে ইমান ইন্টেলিজেন্ট কুয়েশন ধুয়াকে প্লেস করেছে আমার মানে বহু সলনি হয়ে গেছে এটা বিদ্যুতে লিখা আর্টিকল মানুষে পড়িছিল বিদ্যুৎ রোড দ্যাট দেয়ার ওয়াজ নো লকডাউন ইন সাউথ কোরিয়া বাট দে আর টেকলিং দিস বাইরা সিটুয়েশন বাট হাও এই পড়িছে ইয়াতে মানে সাত বক্সত ইমান এপ্রিসিয়েশন নোট মানে চাই চাই আচরি থাকি গেছো সেটাও লিখে দিছে যে প্রফেসর ওয়ান ডে ইউ রোড লাইক দিস আজি অকমান আর কব নাকি যেটা আজি অল্প কে তো দিজ আর দ্য ইস্যুজ আর ওয়েন উই টক হার্ড টু হার্ড আই থিঙ্ক বেনিফিট উইল ডেফিনেটলি কাম টু আস আর ইফ উই আর ব্লেস বাই এ পার্সন লাইক প্রিয়বত লকর তখন আজি আটাইতক সিনিয়র সিনিয়র মোস্ট এন্ড প্রফেসর সুদীপ বারাত হি ইজ ফ্রম নর্থ বেঙ্গল ইউনিভার্সিটি ইজ অল দ্য টাইম উইথ আস এন্ড অলসো মেনি মোর ভেরি ভেরি সিনিয়র প্রফেসর এক্রস দ্য নেশন গতি এইখিন কথা মানে মনত আই আছে ফর্মেল মিটিং কবলে টান যেটা হেডে মিটিং শেষ করে বিদ্যুৎ অকমান ইনফর্মেলি কই মানে মনটো ভাল লাগিছে আর মানে কই থাকলে বহুত কথা ওলাব কিন্তু মোট আটাইতক এটাই ভাল লাগিছে যে ইজ গ্রীন এপ্রোচ লোছে কলেজ খান দ্য কলেজ হ্যাজ সেট দ্য এক্সাম্পল বাই রিকুয়েস্টিং অল ফেকাল্টি মেম্বার্স এন্ড স্টুডেন্ট নট টু ইউজ এনি লাইফ ভেহিকল ওকে অন সেটারডে এন্ড মেবি আদার আনাদার ডে টু মিনিমাইজ দ্যাট এন্ড দ্যাট ইজ দ্য ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল একশন মেটার্স আর বিদ্যুতর যে মানে এই টেক হোম মেসেজ কেটা ফটাফট ফটো তুলে লো আই নো দ্যাট কলেজ হ্যাজ বিন রেকর্ডিং বাট স্টিল আই এম টেকিং এ ফটো এন্ড বিকজ ইট ইজ সো ইম্পর্টেন্ট বিদ্যুৎ দুটামান কথা কোয়াশন তুমি নাই মানে মানে একচুয়ালি সেমিনার খুব দিওতে মাঝে মাঝে কম বলে আরম্ভ করেছিল কিন্তু টেকনিক্যাল কথা খেয়ে আরম্ভ হয়ে গেলে ইংলিশত এই কথা খেয়ে হয়ে গেল মাঝে মাঝে অলম ভাবিছিল হেরি করো কিন্তু নাই তেকে থাকিল ভাল লাগিল ভাল লাগিল সকলকে জানাই মানে খুব আনন্দিত হয়েছো যে প্রফেসর বিদ্যুৎ বিকাশ গোস্বামী ইন্টারনেশনাল একাডেমিক এডভাইসার কেবাখানো কলেজর তার ভিতরতে এখন হয়েছে সি এন বি কলেজ এই বোকাখাটর চন্দ্রনাথ বেজবরুয়া কলেজ বোকাখাটতে পেরা খাই সুন্দরক কলেজ যাব দেখা নাই কবই নয় বিদ্যুৎ